Bert. That's me. to the organization, um, both locally and if you're not in the Massachusetts area. And then we're going to do a little um, intro of the puppies. I know everyone's met them and been following them, um, but we'll do a little bit of intro on how I remember who's who. I know that's been a question in the past. How do we know who is who if they don't have on their color-coordinated collars? Uh, Cindy's giving everyone a little treat so that you can hear me talk today since everyone was being very vocal. Um, so puppies are, are quiet today inside. It has been very rainy here, so unfortunately they haven't been able to play outside. Uh, so a lot of playing in the pen today with the volunteers um, and playing with each other. I did want to talk a little bit about volunteering um, and the different ways that you can volunteer here at the Service Dog Project. If you are interested in volunteering and seeing if it's something you'd like to do, every Sunday here at the farm. Um, we take you on a tour, we show you the puppies, uh, demonstrations on how things are done, and you'll be able to learn if this is something that you're interested in doing. If you are interested in volunteering, you can send us an email. It's the servicedogproject.schedule at gmail.com. Again, that's the servicedogproject.schedule at gmail.com. And that's if you're interested in becoming a regular volunteer. We do have a schedule with assigned shifts, so if there's a time that works for you, we'll see if there's an availability within that time slot. If you are interested in volunteering, but it's not something you can commit to regularly, no worries, we totally understand. Feel free, feel free to drop by the farm between nine and four, uh, and that is when uh, you can stop by and we can find something for you to do. There's lots of things to always do here. Laundry, poop picking, cleaning up, um, so we definitely can use all the help that we can get. If you're not able to volunteer, maybe you're not local to the area, there are some different ways that you can contribute. Um, we are currently in the process of starting a silent auction site, betterworld.com. We did launch it last week, and I know some of you have said there's been some technical difficulties with those. We are working through that, and we do plan to get those resolved and have that live. Once that Better uh, World site is active, there will be silent auction items that people can bid on in an effort to raise money for the organization. Uh, we also are going to be doing a couple events locally in July. On July 27th, we're going to be at the Lynn Public Library from 1.30 to 2.30. That's 5 North Common Ave in Lynn. Um, and that is going to be from 1.30 to 2.30. Uh, we are also going to be at the Belknap County Car Show. Uh, it's called the Mid-Sizzle Car Show, and that is going to be um, all day, uh, 9 to 4, and that is, go or sorry, 9 to 1, excuse me. 
and that is going to be at 174 Mill, uh, sorry, <laughs> Mile Hill Road in Belmont, New Hampshire. And so that's the 29th, that's the Belknap Car Show. So lots of different ways that folks can contribute. We also um, appreciate all the, do the donations that we receive of items that the dogs do need. So we really appreciate everyone contributing in any way they can. There's no contribution too small, whether it's time uh, or, or something for the organization. Everything is greatly appreciated. I did want to switch over to the puppies. I know that's what everyone wants to hear about today. Um, so busy day in ice today. As I said, it's very rainy. People can't get outside. The dogs are going to get wet. It's very muddy here, so they're going to be playing in this space today. Um, so again, I know we've had a few questions. How do we tell the puppies apart um, when there is not a color-coordinated collar like they had when they were very young? And I will tell you, it does take quite a bit of practice. It took me several weeks to learn who was who based on personality and markings. So today what I'll do is I'll give a quick intro of each of the puppies um, and the different markings that we use to sort of tell them apart. So right under my feet here, this is Mr. Dawes. Uh, Mr. Dawes is busy. Um, you can tell that he is Mr. Dawes by his blaze. Um, the other dogs that have the blaze, which is the stripe in between their eyes, are perfectly straight. Dawes is a little squiggly, so that's how we're able to tell him apart. Right in front of me here, this is Pearly. Pearly has a very, very wide blaze. She's sort of a, an easy one to figure out. Um, also very energetic and fun. And right next to her is her sister Poppins. <laughs> Poppins has a very thin blaze and a half collar, which is this space right here. So again, pretty distinct markings. We've been very lucky with this litter that they all look relatively different. So they're a little bit easier to tell apart. Um, over here, on the beds here, we have Winnie. Winnie is a Merle. Um, you probably can't see her. She's a little bit out of frame. But Winnie is perfectly symmetrical in her markings on her face. So she has a light gray face and then black dots that are symmetrical across the front of her face. We have um, what we call the triplets, three black dogs, right? They look very similar. Um, over here in the corner, if you can see, we have Jet and Banks. Jet is a girl, Banks is a boy. They look almost identical, except they have a very small white dot on the side of their nose on opposite sides. Um, our other triplet, who is right behind me here, this is Derby. Derby is a little bit easier to tell apart because he does have a, a white muzzle with a bunch of black spots, so pretty easy to tell there. And let's see who else we have over here. Over in the corner here is Banjo. Banjo is uh, another Merle. You won't be able to see him. I think he's probably out of frame. But he's pretty easy to tell because he has a smudge right in between the middle of his eyes. So all gray with a black smudge right in the middle of his eyes. Down in front here, we have Bert. Um, Bert is... Uh, unique looking. He's also a Merle. He has a black eye and a black back leg. So pretty easy to tell. Um, and then somewhere here we have Alfred right here. Alfred is also a Merle. Um, and Alfred has a perfectly white A on the front of his nose. Um, and so we try to remember that as A for Alfred. Um, Sugar is right in front of me here. Sugar has what we call a kiss me spot. So right in the center of her head, she has a big black dot. Um, and so she's probably the easiest to identify out of the group. Um, and then we also have Boom back here. Boom is one of the largest puppies in the litter. He's sort of been consistently the largest or one of the largest since the beginning. Um, Boom is very easy to tell because he is both a Merle. He has a white blaze and that goes down into a white collar. So. Boom is the only Merle that has that white collar, which makes him pretty distinct. Let's see. I think that's everyone, right? Anyone I missed? No. So everyone's busy with their treats right now. Um, they do eat at noon. Um, so they tend to be really rambunctious after they eat until about 2.30. And then um, they usually lay down and take a snooze. Um, and then they're back up and really active as we approach dinner time. 
Um, they are very um, aware of the sounds associated with eating. Uh, so we put the kibble in the bowl and we get lots of barking and jumping and excitement. Um, and so we're now putting kibble in the bowls outside so that we can keep everyone calm. Um, but they're doing great, they're busy. Um, we're hoping for some good weather so that we can get outside and, and let them run around on Honey Hill. They really do enjoy that. Um, and that's what we'll be focusing on this week is getting them outside to hopefully get rid of some of this energy uh, and let them flip around outside. Uh, you probably saw our video of in the mud. If you haven't, it's on our Instagram and our Facebook. Uh, but it's an awesome video of the puppies sort of interacting with their first puddle, um, playing around, and it's really sweet. So next week during Trainer Talk, Lynn George will be here. She'll be um, talking a little bit about the goings-on of the of FTP as a whole, what's happening with some of the more mature dogs, um, and how they're doing. Um, and we will have probably some more puppy updates as they continue to grow very quickly um, and learn new things. So. Thanks everyone for their time. Again, if you're interested in volunteering, you can find that information on our website. Um, there is, you know, no effort too small, um, no contribution too small. We really appreciate everything everyone does for us. It's the volunteers that make everything. So that means the puppies signing off, uh, and we'll see you next week. Thanks everyone for listening. Well, that sounded nasty. <laughs>